I have never done one of these videos on my YouTube channel before. I want to start doing more content like this, so I'm going to be starting it here with a Hot Wheels K case unboxing. I think this is an international case. I'm pretty sure, but um, I'm going to open it up. Um, I'll open the models up too, and I also have an L case right here, so I'll do that one um, in a different video that'll probably be up tomorrow. But I'm going to uh, crack this sucker open and I'm going to review it, I guess. This isn't as professional as I want it to be because I thought these were going to come a lot uh, later than they actually did. So, you know, what can you do? Um, here we go. So the regular treasure hunt in this case is the Dodge... Um, the Dodge D100, which I do see in here, but, uh, I'm just going to take them out, uh, three by three and I will show them to the camera. First three is the MTS. I don't even know if you see that. I'll do this. I can't really show it by three. It's the MTS Suzuka. The Batmobile. Don't know if this is new or not. I don't have it, so whatever. And then the Ain't Fair recolor. None of these are new, I don't think. The Bugatti EV110, love this version. It's my favorite version. That's from Jay, I know that. Um, the 68 Dodge Dart, second or third color of it, because we did get the uh, Kroger version. And the Ryzen Express in gold. The, do not, I do not, I did not get this from Jay. The Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk. Couple black specks on the top of mine, but that is a very nice new model. Putting that one off to the side. Count Muscula. The classic TV series Batmobile. I'm pretty sure this was in J. I don't have this free color, so I'm gonna put that off the side. You know what, I'm also gonna put the uh, Batmobile off to the side. I'm gonna open that one too. Um, let me uh, do that then. Oh, more stuff. Uh, custom 2018 Ford Mustang. This would be the Super in the J case. This is not a J case. Um, I'll put that right, eh, put that, eh, where do I put this? That's off the side. I do not have this from the J case, Lib uh, LB Silhouette Works GT, it, it's the Liberty Walk R35 looking thing, it's got such a long name, I don't, almost don't want to read it. In white, looks very nice, I gotta show it up closer. I'm like, I can barely see my phone screen, my brightness is really low. Um, I go fix that in the next video. Rocket Box. Peg warmer of the year. Ah, stuff's falling everywhere. I'm definitely gonna open a lot of these. Coop clip, recolor in candy apple red. Don't know if this was in the last case or not. Like I said, I am. I don't know. Don't I, I think this was in J. The Pontiac Firebird in red. That's in J. This also in J. Another uh, Liberty Walk. Skyline. More JK stuff. The 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Do not have this recolored red. I don't have like really many JK. JK's barely hit my stores. They're already on L, which I already, I have in my hands right now. And the 1986 Toyota van, that was a new casting. I actually did find that one. Okay, actual K case models. All these are from K. Uh, 06 Pontiac GTO in red. Very cool. Uh, I will I will open these. I'm gonna make in the same part of the video, probably at the end, but it's gonna be in a, different take a different shoot because i want to clear off these cars and stuff and also <laughs> turn up my phone brightness i can barely see what's happening um this is awesome 65 mustang 2 plus 2 fastback most of the times it's been seen in like a racing livery this one's just nice and clean green with very stock plain looking stripes that that's a that's a winner that one's a winner and then a new casting the uh, porsche 911 gt3 this is a brand new casting in the for the K case. The rear deco has top deco because and it looks like the headlights are part of the windshield. So you get the the break or the window piece. So you get the break there. That's cool. I don't know how well I'm showing this off. I'm, I'm gonna show them off better later. Alright, uh Glory Chaser recolor in red. Cool and licensed casting there. 
Broken Promises. This is a, I think it's a holdover. They did a special ver, uh, bro, uh, whichever brand runs Broken Promises, I have no clue what it is. Um, they did a special version with special card art and they released it and I got it in like a bubble mailer. I think it was a bubble mailer. No, I think they just like threw it, threw it in a box. It was pretty sad. And the GT Scorcher recolor. I don't know if that's new or not. Okay, I see a Skull Shaker. There's Skull Shaker. Batmobile and another Liberty Walk Skyline. Chop it off to the side. Don't see the Lamborghini yet, which I still uh, need. Okay, another new casting. Well, okay, another Porsche. So that's good. Uh, another GT Scorcher. And then the um, Armadillo from Lightyear. New, is an interesting casting. I think I'll open this up um, from the new uh, Pixar movie, Lightyear. And uh, yeah, I'll show this off too. That's very, it's very interesting. Okay, treasure hunt, treasure hunt, oh, another Bugatti, and another Armadillo, which we've already seen, but we do have the treasure hunt, this is the 87 Dodge D1, oh, yeah, this is an international case, also you can look at the back, there's no number there, there it is, I really like this one, the licensed treasure hunts are always cool, this one's just, this one's awesome, this one's just really cool, definitely gonna be keeping that one and then another coupe clip mod rod and a toyota van we try and uh the stack's getting really big i have like a stack off to uh this side right there and then all the other ones that are going on to a different stack okay pulling out the cardboard Let's see what we got I see i see i already see a holdover i need some uh, j okay new stuff um, 69 Copo Camaro. This is new. Oh, actually, you know, I'll just get rid of head gasket. I don't know if that's new or not. I think it might be, but I don't even care. These two are new and I'm interested in them. 69 Copo Camaro. That's a pretty cool version in, um, red with very nice looking striping. That's a nice highlight. And then the McLaren F1. Recolor in orange. First one was in black. And orange is this year looks nice. I'll give you all a better look at these um, when we uh, get to the uh, unboxing part. Okay, another a kit cart, another Tacoma, and this one right here. Let me let me put these away. Put these off to the side first. This is the Hot Wheels kit concept. So this is a new casting in the uh, K, K case. It is, I guess, a Hot Wheels take of kit. It's very reminiscent of the Vector. We all remember that uh, casting. It very much looks like the Vector. Um, gonna be opening this and taking a closer look at it. That's very interesting. And then uh, next three. Okay, Batmobile. There's a Turbine Sublime. I know this is a new casting for the year. I don't know if it's it was in this case though. The Corvette C8R, though, is in here. This is um, uh, appearing in the case for the first time this year. Looks really nice in blue. Part of then and now, I think the uh, the Venn version, I think it's the C6R. It's an older Corvette. Um, don't like it as much as the C8. The C8 is just really slick, and it's a really nice casting. So there we go. That's another K-Case highlight. Next three... Okay, so a few things. Uh, Mustang already seen, so I'm just gonna put it off the side. Um, LB Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. This is from the J case. Did not find it, so I will be opening that one up. And then the uh, Nissan Skyline 2000 HT 2000 GTX. So this, if this was in like kind of an emerald Spectre Flame green with some like charcoal chrome. Uh, rims, you would have found the Super. This is not the Super, but a still a really nice main line. And it's still really cool, so I will be opening that one up. Hyper Rocker, Bricking Speed, Hot Wheels Kit Concept. Oh, like accumulating a massive pile. Um, okay, an interesting one. Cosmic Coupe, Velocir Racer, 
but we do have the re um not the recar it's the Aston Martin V12 Speed Search. First time it's appearing in the mainline this year. This time in white. First two versions were in silver, and then a GameStop version in red. Now it's in white. Looks pretty solid in white. It's not bad. So I'll get closer looks at these later. Okay, our Drift RX7. I actually did find this in the store. So it's still a nice mainline. The 40 Ford pickup. This is a new tooling. So, no, not a new tooling. It's a retool. This is a really old casting. It's from like ages ago. Yeah, it says on the base 1998. So, it debuted in like 99. I do actually have the old version of this casting. They've like heavily modified it though. There it is. I guess I'll open this one up. It's a cool casting. It's very modified. I might pull out the um, older version. Another new thing 84 Audi Sport Quattro in yellow very nice looking Take a closer look at that soon big highlight from the kk's batmobile and ps suzuka who cares about these two because we got the sylvia recolor liberty walk sylvia recolor in yellow this is a new casting in the e-case and now they recolored it in yellow very awesome very very awesome I don't really see any more highlights in here. The Vancinator, Super Cub, and the Wheelie Chair. That was a new casting in the uh, J case. I did get that. This one I think I'm gonna open up. I don't know if it's new or not. I don't know if I'll actually show it off, but that is a really cool unlicensed casting. I think I'll just I'll just add it to the uh, collection. But I do actually like unlicensed castings, depending on how well they're done. Another, uh, okay. Kit cart. The um, LB Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe, another one of those. Glad to get some of these because I never found them in store. Ford Mustang GT Concept, I think this is new. I'm pretty sure this is new. Um, track stars. In Hot Wheels Rescue Livery, I'm not gonna open this. I do not like this casting. Well, it's kind of weird. Eh, I don't, I'm not super crazy about it. I don't think I'm gonna open that one. Uh, Rocket Box, uh, Fast Gasson, another one I did actually find that's worth from the, um, there's like a breeze in the cardboard blowing away. The, um, Automobili Pina Farina Batista, this was in the, the last ID mix that just does not exist, and that's in the main line. I already have that one open, not gonna open it. Last three, another RX-7, the, um, Twin Mill in purple. This is new in the case, by the way. And then another classic TV series, Batmobile. Twin Mill's all right, but, you know. Yeah, that's the K case. Um, it's all right, but I think it's kind of carried by the J case holdovers. But still a, still a nice case. Also has a lot of Liberty Walk in it. There's like four different Liberty Walk models that are in here, except three of them are holdovers. So that's K. I'm going to be opening L. And then I'm going to open these in like a separate take. It'll be a part of this video. So it'll be just packed on to the end. And uh, yeah. So first thing I'm going to show is the, or first thing I'm going to open up is the Batmobile. This is from K. I didn't know if it was from J or K. It is from K. It's the newest version of it. There's some tape on it too. I'll maybe just tape from the case. Um, here it is. So... It is in a gunmetal gray with black disc wheels. Um, it's got a chrome, not a charcoal chrome interior, just a regular chrome interior. It's got the tail lights done and the kind of back reflector light right there. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna show the um, other four versions. This is the first one they did. This is, um, this was actually in K-Case last year. This is a new model of the K-Case. Um, and notice it is in matte black with gray disc wheels. Then the recolor was black disc wheels in gloss black. I guess the, the quote unquote recolor, just the second version. Then the next version was in the five pack and it has black wheels and it's in matte black. So we're kind of trading characteristics. And now it's actually the first time it's in a different color. And there's also a premium version they did in entertainment. 
which obviously is metal on metal, real rider tires, more detail, all that fun stuff. So that's every version of that casting. I thought I'd just show that off because it is a really cool Batwheel wheel casting. And you know, it's in the K case, might as well showcase it. And then next up are some new castings that are unlicensed that I thought I was interested in. First one is the Armadillo from Lightyear. Let me see you open this. I'm trying to crack it open in front of the camera. It's just hand. <laughs> um, it just seems tiny. So, okay. The top half of this is metal. The bottom half is plastic and has a plastic base. It's got really tiny wheels on there. So this thing does, in fact, roll. Uh, yeah, it's... it's If you like light... I have not watched Lightyear and I have no intentions of watching it. If you like Lightyear, cool. If you don't, who cares? This one I'm very interested in. The Hot Wheels kit concept. I'll try and get it on camera. Problem is just mostly hand. But I'm also doing it like so close up. Actually, I might scoop that back. There we go. All right, this is the uh, Hot Wheels kit concept and it really looks like a vector. It's got the disc wheels on it. And gosh, this thing's weird. So this whole top piece right here is plastic. This whole top piece is plastic. And then the bottom part right here is metal. It's kind of interesting. There's the back. This is part of the interior. So it does have an interior piece or an internal plastic piece. I don't actually think this has an interior. And it's got a red stripe there and has kit on the hood. This is an entire, uh, com this is a completely a Hot Wheels design. This is not at any um, request of a kit or anyone with the Knight Rider franchise. Um, and it really looks like a Vector. It looks so much like the old Vector casting that was a one and done, so. That's pretty cool. All right, now next up is a retool that I was kind of interested in. It's the 40 Ford pickup. Uh, first time they released it in, I don't know how long. I struggled to get this out of the package. So, I actually did bring out an older version, the old version of the 44. This is from a Harley Davidson 5 pack. And I decided to bring it out just to compare. So, from what I can see, um, I'll try and do this as best as I can. The size of it's the same, but you can see the back. The interior stops right here at the wing. On the old one, and you see, look how far the wing sticks out in the old one. If I can show that it's way further the wing is actually part of the interior piece but because they need to have a metal rivet it's now shortened so now it's metal the wheelie bar wheelie bar is pretty much the same but you can see the the whole base is also less detailed the base is a lot less detailed on the uh, new one the um the oh also on the old one the um the base went up to the grill so you had that break now it's just part of the casting and this hood scoop, I think it's actually a separate metal piece. Yeah, it's it's a separate metal piece. It's actually a, a separate metal piece. But that's when it's just a part of the same cast. So there's a lot of differences with it. All right, now some um, other stuff. This is the 06 Pontiac GTO. This debuted last year. I think it was in D case in like a copper color, like Brendan Batusky's actual Pontiac GTO he has. I got a recolor in blue, and now it is in a, uh, that's not open them off camera. It's, it's too, like, crazy. It's too tight to do it on camera. And now it's in this kind of racing deco with Pontiac on the side. Gray, these kind of gray five spokes. Hot Wheels graphics logo I can see on the front corner. 06, because it's a 2006 model. It's in red. Does have the front detailing. Nothing on the back. It's kind of a cool casting, a very Hot wheels if I had, um car, and uh, yeah, pretty good. Actually, move that closer. I think that would look a little better. Everything's live here, so I'm kind of just going as I go. 69 Copo Camaro. In red. Uh, I like this one with the, just the plain stripes on the hood and the side. It's pretty clean. Um, pretty nice. I don't know they, it, all the history on some of these older castings. You can look on the bottom and see it. Oh, it's been retooled. 
It got retooled last year. Wonder what Oh, because this is the um That's the ID version, I think. No, wait, no. No. It's not the ID version. No, yeah, this would be the ID version. They did an ID version of this model. This is probably what it is. This might be the ID version. Maybe. I don't know. That's probably why it says 2019. Yeah, look how flat the base is right here. I think this is actually the ID version. That's why it says copyright date 2019. So that's interesting. It was an ID chase last year. Fuck it. That's probably what that is. So that's the modify. That's the... That's just the... You know, this, this is what's happening in the mainline this year. Because the ID line is dead, all the ID models are moving to the mainline. And we're going to see that soon. Why is my camera, like, out of focus? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Sure. This Aston Martin V12 speed here in white. Looks like there's two canoes. <laughs> Look like canoes in the car. Uh, I'm not a fan of these like roadsters. I really think they look kind of dumb and silly. Um, Hot Wheels has done. They had done the Inventor with J V12 speed here. We're gonna see the Elva in the L case, which uh, by, the, by the time this comes out, it'll be out tomorrow. It's got the rear detailing though, the front, yeah. This casting was debuted last year in the Q case in silver, got a GameStop color in red, which I have that, so yeah. Does it get the, it also has printing on the top too. It's got top, front, rear. There's the 12 Speedster. Okay, now we're getting to really good stuff. 84 Audi Sport Quattro in yellow. Um, I think there's a recolor of this coming in blue and in Q. Here it is in yellow with a white five or white ten spokes. It's got the side, Quattro, Michelin, Bill Stein, Hella, number one on it. Nothing on the rear side. There's the front with the Audi detailing. Uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool version. This is a nice casting. Uh, debuted in 2019. I think it was B case. And it got, it got a release in, it was, so that was in white, recolored in green last year, not last year, 2020. It got a premium release in car culture and it was a super. And where was it last year? Did we see it last year? I don't know. It's in a car culture two pack this year though. Which those should be out now. Um, they are out. 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback. Love this one. Typically, this casting is seen in like kind of a racing livery, but it's actually really clean. It's in like a nice green with the white stripes going down the top. Very, very nice. Really enjoy that one. Yeah, this one's really cool. Very nice, very clean. Debuted in 2008, it looks like. Perry, that's really nice. That's actually, that's actually really cool. I really dig that one. All right. Okay. We're getting to some of the really good stuff. Corvette C8R. This is the, uh, I think, I don't know. There's actually, this casting's gotten a lot of love. It was in the main line last year. Uh, in yellow, recolored, and I think gray. Got a Target a red edition. It was in premium that year in car and no, team transport in yellow plane going by. Uh, then it was in car culture this year. And it was a chase in the American scene mix. And here it is again in blue with the eight on the side. Hot Wheels graphics logo is always is there. A grayed out 10 spokes. This is a very nice version. It's a very nice version. I just love this cast. I love the C8. This one's really nice too. Hot Wheels nailed it. Except for the, um, I don't really, I like the C8R from Hot Wheels over the regular one because they did an enlarged rear wheel and I don't like the way it looks, but whatever. At least Matchbox gave us a cool C8. Hot Wheels gave us a cool C8R. McLaren F1. This is a recolor. First one was in black. Actually, it was in the main line last year in uh, silver. It debuted last year. Then they got a black version this year. It's getting a release in the Jay Leno car culture set, again in black. And here it is in orange, and I like the orange. I don't think you're gonna top black. When you, whenever they do something in black, that's like the peak for that model, it, it seems like. But that is, yeah, nice and orange, very nice and orange. 
Still really cool. I like how they're keeping it plain, keeping it clean. I always like it when Hot Loops does that. All right. Regular treasure hunt, the 87 Dodge D100. I did pull this out of the K case. I did not pull the treasure one out of the yellow case, which is sad because it was a licensed one, but whatever. Here it is. Man, that's nice. So it's got these cool off-road wheels in white. It's got the Circle Flame logo right there. Focus. Focus. Hello. Hey, you can see it on the back fender. I mean, it's massive. It's got some red, blue, and white striping. Hot Wheels graphics again, BF Goodrich. Striping continues on the top. That's just, that's just a nice one. It's a really cool casting. I think it debuted in 2018. It's gotten a Target release and a Zamac release. I think that's really it. It might have been, it might have popped up somewhere else, but this is a very cool casting. Love the rake on it. It's like the way it sits. And this is a really nice uh, focus. There you go. It's a very nice to you. Very happy with it. Very, very, very happy with it. Really nice to have that one. Here's the would-be Super, Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX. This is Inspector Flame Green. It would be the Super, but this one's not, so it's not the Super. Still a very cool mainline JDM Legends logo on the back corner. It's not focused again. Come on, focus. Here we go. Uh, it's got a side stripe. It's got Skyline and Hot Wheels logo there. Did the rear. Front's blank. Doesn't really need it, though. Just very nice and very clean. Very nice main line. Can't go wrong with the Hakoska. This one's very nice. I don't know. I don't really have a lot to say about this. This is a um, from 20, say debut 2012. Copyright dates 2011, so. Yeah. Typically, that means it debuts the year after, typically. Okay. Here we go. Liberty Walk is here to stay for Hot Wheels. Lit LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15 Recolor. First version was in white in the E-Case, which I told I uh, did bring out. I will show that um, now. So here's the first version in white. Here's the second version in yellow. You can see how they basically just flipped it. So on the first version, it, had, it was white with a yellow stripe. This one, yellow with a white stripe. Also, the wheels are gray instead of black. I think I like the white more, but this one's very nice. And just for fun, just for fun, I'm going to open up these other three Liberty Walk models that were in the J case that I did not get until now because I did not really find the J case in store. Also, I have the premium uh, R34 Liberty Walk model because it's just that awesome. So let's hope nothing rolls off. I don't think it will. It's literally cardboard. So, I'm just going to open these up now. Lamborghini. The white one, which is very nice. I like it more than the last year's version. R35, an electric blue. The black wheels, also another nice one. Then the new casting. 2000 GTR. It's got black smudging on the top, but that one, that one's hype. That is hype. I'm actually going to pick up the camera. Come on, focus. Here we go. Liberty Walk is here, man. This is like a new, it's just, man, this, this Liberty Walk, like, collab is just, look how, look at, look at the stuff we've gotten from it. It's just insane. Here it is in, uh, there's a recolor of this coming this year in black. But it looks real, I think I like it more in blue though. But um, rear deco, is it even focusing? I, I can't tell if it's focusing or not. I think it's trying to focus on the background. Come on. This is so quaint, it's so annoying. Come on, show this off. I think it's focused, I can't tell though. Here's the front. It's got, well, it's got the top printed because the roof's blacked out and it's also got the front. The um, headlights are part of the window piece. You do have the rear. It's a very nice one. Look, it's a really nice casting. Another good Porsche casting from Hot Wheels. And yeah, that is K-Case. 
I'm gonna be honest, there's some a couple good things, but like overall as a case, I don't know, this I think a lot of it comes from the holdovers, being that there's like the Tacoma recolors in the case too, as well as the um Toyota van. It's a really good case though, for like just cars in general. For new stuff, maybe not the best, but that's, that's talking about and that's focus. So the cleanup, I'm gonna do the L case um opening in the same session and uh yeah, see you on the video. Catch you guys later.